Hey, what's up, guys? Andy here, and today we're reviewing over Fairy Tale episode 298, titled "In a Silent Time." We'll get back to that in a minute. But uh, as for this episode, it was all right. It had a lot of high moments and a lot of like uh, just dialogue scenes where we did learn a little bit of stuff. But overall, it was just kind of there to you know be there. Uh, we got to see the conclu- well, not the conclusion, I, I don't know if it's the conclusion because it's not, you know, decisive yet, of uh, the whole Loxus wall fight. We got to see the Windy Shelia and De Demetria, I think that's her name. I always forget her name for some reason. We got to see their fight uh, get started really good, and we got to see the beginning of the Nine Heart fight. And uh, on top of that, Crime Sorcery is in the house, so... <laughs> It's going to be a fun next episode getting to see Jalal fight. So, yeah. Uh, other than that, just some basic stuff we're going to talk about in the review. And, you know, uh, if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, help the channel out if you want to. But uh, I'm really tired, guys. So, I'm going to try to make this one a little bit quicker than all the rest. So, let's go ahead and get started. Back, back from the dead. <laughs> Okay, so we start here with some recap from last episode of the Loxus fight and the Windy fight, and then we go into our intro here, which, you know, par normal, same intro as always, nothing really changed, but then we get this scene where Wall pretty much tells him, he's like, look, you're, you're dead, you can't even hardly breathe right now due to these Bane particles, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna wipe out all your pain and agony. And then we get our title card here, In a Silent Time, which at first I was like, wait, what, is this going to be just flashback episode? But it's not. Uh, we'll get to that in just one second when we get done with this fight. And uh, Loxus knows how to use Freed's enchantments now. He learned it from Freed, and he set up this enchantment, which was really cool. He set this enchantment up just so he would break the enchantment. Knowing that he would have to use like Bane cancellation stuff to cancel the enchantment And that means that the particles in his body would be canceled out as well Which was real. It was a really cool scene from Loxus there But Loxus isn't done just there because next he goes into this uh, red lightning and uh, it was really cool to see and with Loxus, you know, you never count him out because he's always the big guy. That's why I said I don't think he's going to die in that last episode. So, uh, we move into a small little flashback, and I was like, maybe this is what they're talking about, but it wasn't. It was just Mavis pretty much telling Loxus about Yuri, which is his great-grandfather. But, uh, we cut over to Gray and Juvia and all of them, and, uh, <laughs> Crime Sorcery is joining the battle. That'll come into, uh... Uh, play here in just a second because Urza and F Kagura are pushing towards Nineheart and they fight his like his four commanders pretty much and they run right through and one shot those guys they're like there's four of us and then Jalal takes out the two coming from the sky so that was really cool to see Jalal back and plus you know he's with Urza they had to do that they had to do Jalal coming back with Urza here we cut over to Wendy and uh Shelia, who were fighting Demetria, who paused time, which we got, we'll, we'll, we got her, um, exact, uh, uh, magic here. It's called, um, uh, let me check my notes. I want to get it right. Age seal magic, which pretty much cre creates a pocket universe for just her to where she can fight people. Without them, like, time being stopped. Which, you know, we kind of already knew that's the case. But, uh, Ultir shows up in here. And she's like, I can only exist in this dimension. But I'm just, uh, like a projection or whatever. But she stopped time so Wendy and Shelia could come back and fight her. And she can't hold them in there long. So if they can't beat her in that short period of time, they're gonna lose. But they start attacking her and that's when all shit hits the fan. She uses the takeover god soul, which apparently uh, Dimitri is in a contract, so to speak, with the god Kronos, which is the god of time. I uh, don't know how that works, but then she shoots a shot at Charlie, or, or Charlie, however you say it, and hits her. And, you know, Wendy freaks out, and, like, you know, because she's pretty much dead. 
And she's like, even with my clairvoyance, I couldn't stop it. But Old Tear stopped time for her, but couldn't get her in time. So as soon as they get out of this, they're going to have to heal, use a healing spell on her. Uh, which is really upsetting because the last uh, panel, well panel, the last uh, thing we see here is Old Tear telling them, like, you are you ready to use the power of the future that you'll gain? But if you use it now, you'll never be able to use magic again, which is a predicament because they need it. To use on Charlotte. I don't know how that works. But uh <laughs> anyway, that's the end of the episode. I know this was a quick one, guys, and there wasn't too much to talk about. But um, yeah, like I said, we went over the big stuff. Loxus is a badass. We already knew that much though. Uh Urza and Jalal are reunited with Kagura about to go fight Neenhart. Um Dimitri's a badass who is apparently the god Kronos incarnate. And uh, Wendy and Shelly are a fightner, so good thing they have a God Slayer on their side. Which actually said that that was a really cool scene where Shelly was like, "I get glad that or I'm glad that I'm a God Slayer." But you know, whatever. If y'all liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in a few hours for Boruto. Take a moment right here, feeling like a sound gear. Driving towards the sun With a rose and a gun Feel the wind in my head